<laughs> uh, I guess Mighty doesn't like the Marth Ditto. Uh huh? I was gonna say. Or I guess not. So I, I, I'm not playing uh, the winner of that. I think you're playing. Oh yeah. Oh, so I. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was confused. I thought I had another round before winter semis. How much is the most points that someone can get in the tournament? Huh? And for BR, how much is the most points you can get in the tournament? Uh, it depends. Like, for example, Tyrano actually got to a point in the true skill rating where, like, he could even go, like, get negative a point for winning just because it wasn't worth, like, if people weren't worth anything. What? It's because it's a closed point ecosystem. It's not a flat you get this many points. That's not how it works. There's a, and there's like, after the placement, it decides how many points there kind of are in the system. And you can only get a certain amount of them from specific people. That's pretty dumb. But it's an accurate. I should. Sure. And like, Tierno was an extreme case where like, he literally lost to nobody besides MT. <coughs> so like, at a certain point, if you weren't like, it, it was like he was in a magnitude where he was nearly double their points. Like they, like some of the people he'd be fighting would be either three or four K. He was like above eight K. <laughs> Sounds like good. Yeah. Not that it would matter because like it would be offset every time. But it's like you're not actually fighting anybody stronger, and you're not proving yourself more dominant over the other players. So you're sort of counted out. That's some good double shots. It's also a good way of guarding against uh, elo farming, and so you never move down because you like you're just high enough up at a certain point. Yeah. Sorry, I'll just talk about the match. Um. So Chris is actually doing really good, and I'm pretty surprised that Falk is doing this good. Uh, I think he's been practicing it. Um, I, I am surprised. I, I think I think I understand why Goza is very much about um, like down throw guessing guessing games and crouching and F smashing a lot um, and honestly against Falco that's not great you need to be much better at running with down tilts and rising fares and dash dance grabbing his approaches and if you're not doing that yeah kind of kind of get goofed on as he does it dash dance grab <laughs> well yeah but he also wasn't spacing himself with the uh, dash attack yeah he just kind of throwing out moves <laughs> oh my god and da dash attack actually against Marth I would argue that in a lot of cases Falco's dash attack is not worth using it as anything besides a combo extender yeah that's what I use it for. but it is decent against Marth because it does cover something as like a hard counter. He, he covers like any of Marth's rising aerial attacks. I didn't know that. Yeah, like Marth, because of his five frame jump, even though up air, up to uh, up air is like a three frame move and um, forward air is like five frames or something, it's like it's fast enough that if he tries to jump, your dash attack will catch him. So. This matchup, it's got some uses. Unfortunately, if they, it starts getting red, it, you get punished really easy because you can just wave dash out of shield, grab it, or F smash it. You gonna go to a new tournament? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Does it count towards PR? No. Okay. I'm not gonna stop anybody from running turns, but I did stop running another weekly for a very good reason. And was it Evo farming or? No, the reason I did it was I was killing the scene. We had too many weeklies. Uh. And a attendance started going back up. <laughs> and so I rest my case. Well, I'm not sure if it was because it was summer or it was... <laughs> Part of it was that. Because I, I know a lot of people who can't make like Fridays and Mondays. Yeah, but it was happening on Sundays too. Yeah. 
Um, and the trend was happening before summer. That's true. I mean, I, I put a lot of thought into this. Well, <coughs> I think both ways. Um, I don't know, because if, if, if people see like a Sunday Weekly, they're not going to be like, oh, now I'm not going to go Monday Weekly. Some yeah. people aren't. It's wallets. Oh, uh, I'm sure. You got to remember that, like, ultimately, if you go to try to go to everything, if you can go to everything and try to go to everything, and you don't even have, like, a setup, that's 30 bucks a week if yeah. you have three weeklies. They need, to, they need to separate them, too. I think they're too close to each other. Hmm? Friday and Monday? Friday, Sunday, Monday. It, it, with the new oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, again. From what I've seen, though, that doesn't matter as much. It's not really a problem in Dallas. It's not really a problem in Austin. That's true, because they have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But Austin, they recently, like, Oopals only have, like, eight people, apparently, or something like that. that well, really? that's location. Austin, because Austin traffic is so bad, so it's time and location. The other, the other tournaments they used to have were all located around UTSA, uh, sorry, not UTSA, uh, University of Texas campus. The Oopals is not, that's Southern Austin, which would make it easier for, like, people from San Antonio to go. But it makes it way harder if you're in like yeah. Austin Prime. It'll be like 45 minutes of driving to get to a tournament in your own city. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, so that's the problem with that. <sighs> Close so is a claw on his way back. Looking for some shenanigans. <laughs> They're both kind of like flooding. Yeah, I mean that happens. It's a tournament. What? Oh, Mind games? Oh, I was hoping for another update. 